Zafar Ali, executive chef at the Leela Palace, Bengaluru, here to convince us that frozen is the new fresh. Well, uh, good afternoon. My name is Zafar. I'm the executive chef of the Leela Palace, Bangalore. Uh, I have been associated with USIPIC, which is uh, uh, the poultry uh, and the egg export council of uh, USA uh, for the last four years. And uh, we have done a lot of uh, interactions with them uh, and things. So uh, I'm here to represent USIPIC and at the same time also to tell you uh, where the frozen market is all about. Uh, you know, let me just start off by telling you, frozen is the new fresh. As much as it might sound unhealthy, it might sound uh, a little absurd, uh, if you actually see with what's actually happening in the market uh, with families which are working, with families which, uh, you know, where both parents are working, frozen is actually becoming the new best thing. Uh, let me also tell you my association uh, with USIPIC. Uh, I've been to a lot of their farms where uh, I've been to their poultry farms as well. Uh, just because it's frozen, uh, the amount of care that is actually taken even before slaughter, it's immense in terms of, uh, you know, uh, the animal actually goes, undergoes a lot of medical things because uh, they know that it has to be frozen. They know it's going to be consumed later. So to kind of uh, minimize the bacterial growth or minimize and almost keep it to uh, a zero. Uh, it starts from the day that, you know, the egg hatches and then goes on where every step is monitored. So that uh, thing. Now, let me also tell you that uh, the best part about frozen food as such, we in the hotels also use it. And it's a, a new convenience as well. Uh, in terms of nutrition, there are a lot of studies that have happened. Uh, throughout the world and uh, through USDA as well, where it actually says that the frozen is more healthier than the actual fresh. The simple reason being it's packed during when it's peak, when it's at the, uh, when it's at the season's best, and when it's at the optimum, uh, you know, the optimum quality is when that particular product is actually paused, all right? That's how we would say. It's paused at the optimum when the quality is best, when, the seasonal, when it's seasonal. And at the same time, uh, you know, it's, it's just kind of frozen uh, so that the nutritions are maintained to a kind of a maximum. Uh, let me also tell you that if you follow the protocols of thawing, which once a frozen meat or a produce, if you follow the protocols of thawing, you would soon realize that it's not just convenient, it is also consistent, and you get a product which is far more, uh, you know, cost effective, and at the same time, it's also something which uh, you can use it at your convenience. You just thaw as much as you require, and then you use it, all right? Uh, that's one of it, uh, one of the major uses where uh, we also, uh, you know, we get uh, frozen meat and we just thaw it as much as we require. And, you know, we curtail the losses to a minimum and at the same time, uh, we're giving a consistent product. Another important thing about frozen product is the quality that they offer. A lot of studies go and they've always find better ways of improving it. They always find better ways of uh, giving what the consumer wants, uh, you know, and there's a constant development uh, in the produce that actually uh, keeps happening from time to time. Uh, I would also like to say, uh, uh, you know, in terms of food wastage as well, uh, just because it's frozen, you know, it's absolute, uh, the wastage is almost zilch. It's, all, it's brought to an absolute bare minimum. And uh, it's good, f uh, I think. Now, in terms of uh, just understanding, the most important thing here is to understand the science behind how to thaw it. And once that science is understood, uh, frozen could just be the new form of fresh. 
All right. Uh, I invite you to come to our booth, which is at uh, the exhibition hall, which is a uh, uh, thing, and then understand the product. Uh, we have uh, the US poultry, which gives a lot of uh, duck and turkey uh, at the moment, and chicken as well. So yes, to understand it a little bit more better, you're most welcome. We have a sm small little video, which we're going to be playing, just to give you a sense of all that we do. Thank you.